Okay guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the JJRC Q46 Speedrunner. This is a little off-road buggy, uh, 1 12th size scale. Uh, it's pretty similar in terms of the electronics. One exception, I'll talk about that in a second here, to the previous JJRC 1 12th scale buggy that I reviewed uh, a couple months back. Uh, this one also has uh, the screwed on canopy, so you can't remove that. There's no cotter pins to remove the top, so you can't look at the inside. A little bit of a different design here with the seats here opened up. Um, got some cotter pins here for the back. This lifts up to get to the battery to 7.4 volt 2S um, lithium ion battery. 218650 light uh, lithium ion batteries. It's a 3000 milliamp hour pack and uses a Dean's connector back here. Powers on via this switch, a little red switch here, on off switch. Uh, four wheel drive. Uh, four-wheel independent suspension. You got these nice uh, metal joints here in the bottom for the drivetrain. Uh, supposed to be pretty fast according to the specs. It's, it's still brushed. There's a, I don't know if you can see that right there, a 540 sized brushed motor in here. So supposedly it goes up to uh, 45 kilometers per hour. Um, pretty nice design. Got a little skid plate on the bottom here. Uh, the shocks, I guess, aren't really, I don't think they're oil filled. I think they're just springs. Uh, and, and so also in the front, can't really see the springs there, but yeah, I don't believe they're oil filled. I'm not sure if uh, you can fill them with oil or not, but it's fairly, fairly bouncy. So I've heard this thing flips over quite a bit. It has a, it has a tendency to, pro, uh, to flip over pretty easily. Uh, you have some LEDs here in the front, four in the top and two in the front there. Let's see, uh, I'll power this on. Let's take a look at those lights. I'm not sure if those will show up in camera. It's bright daylight, middle of the day, but yeah, they're pretty bright LEDs. And here's the controller, uh, typical pistol grip remote. Uh, forward, backwards, got your trims here, bind button, and your on-off switch, and your steering wheel. Nothing too fancy here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll get this on the ground and take this for a spin. Start off here in the grass. Obviously, you can do go off-road as well. So we'll see how fast they go full speed in the grass here, some flatter areas. Let's go full speed. So that's the maximum speed, but no problems in the grass. Let's try the uh, some smooth surface here in the basketball court. Let's turn around, come right towards us. So that's the maximum speed right there. Very bouncy. Pretty fast. Ooh, and there it goes. It flipped right over. So if you turn too quick on this guy, it will flip over and you'll have to go and walk and flip back over. It's pretty cool kicking up all that dirt. It's pretty fun. I think it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to flip over if you're going too fast, and then there you go, flip right over again if you turn too much. So you got to kind of watch out for that. But just kick it back over. Probably the same deal on the concrete. It's a little more grippy on the concrete. Yeah, as soon as it hits the grass, it flips right over. Let's see here, let's go full speed towards us here. And then a quick turn. And there it goes. Let's show that one more time.
pretty easy to flip it over. But if you get lucky, it'll come back on its wheels. Oh, and uh, flipped it over on the concrete too. All right, let's try all the way into the corner here. There's the maximum speed. Not really sure how fast that is. I don't have a radar gun or anything like that, but it looks pretty fast. It's definitely faster than, almost lifted again, definitely faster than the, the previous JGRC model I had. Yeah, I think the center of gravity of this thing is a little too high. So maybe you could probably add some weights so it's the bottom of it maybe, or somewhere in the bottom of the model to get the center of gravity lower so it doesn't flip over so easily. Because it is quite maneuverable. Nice. So I'm going uh, full speed and all the way over on the steering. Doesn't really do any drifting or anything like that. Of course, I'm not really sure how to do that. <laughs> I, think it, I think it only flips over on sudden quick turns. All right, let's try some thicker grass over here. See how it goes over here. No problems. Oh, I think I got stuck or my battery's dead. Or the motor might be overheating. I'm kind of going crazy on the, on the throttle here. Let's uh, turn it off and back on again. All right. Yeah, up here's the battery's dead. Thought I charged this, but... Maybe I didn't charge it all the way. All right, one more time. Let's try and rebind it. Okay, I think it just lost mine. That's weird. Or the motor overheated, and if that's the case, then you need to Basically start over, turn everything off and on again, and then rebind from the transmitter. You can see here, no problems in deep grass too. Lots of power. Looks like that dog had a lot of interest in this. Oh wow, that flipped over pretty easily right there. I think I might be, might be killing the battery now. Yeah, I guess I, it's, I think it, it's weird. It, I think it lost a bind or something. Maybe the motor's overheating. You get you hear that beep there, which means I need to reset it again. So turn this off, turn this off. 
Uh, turn this back on again. Let's turn this on. And I mean, it seems like it has power. I think I might be overheating the motor. Maybe uh, being in this deep grass isn't so good for it. And now I'm stuck. So you need a little momentum to go in this deep stuff. Oh, yeah, I think I, I think the battery's dead now. Not sure what's going on there. You can hear the beeping. Yeah, I think I've either overheated the motor uh, going that deep grass or the battery is just out of juice. I'm not sure, so I haven't really done a, um, possibly didn't charge it all the way. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, just uh, keep in mind that it does flip over pretty easily and or you need to modify it to add more weight to the bottom. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty fast, pretty good fun. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.